we needed to have another observatory, observatory with more and different capabilities to detect those first objects to light up. That telescope is what you see behind me today in the clean room. Webb is larger than Hubble, and Webb is infrared optimized. It is those two characteristics that largely distinguish it from the Hubble Space Telescope. It's larger because it needs to collect more light, and it's infrared optimized because those distant objects have had their light stretched out by the expansion of the universe. So when it left the galaxies, it was visible, but by the time it comes to us, it's infrared. It's going to use its infrared capabilities to peer inside clouds of gas and dust that block visible light to see stars being born in our own galaxy. And of course, one of the most exciting things that we know uh, Webb will be doing is looking at exoplanets. But most importantly, it can do deep space testing because that's what James Webb needs, as you heard Mark uh, mention. While everybody else is sweating in Houston during the summer, James Webb will be experiencing uh, close to absolute zero.